Hey you guys, I'm back again for the fourth mommyhood entry. So, I hope everybody had a happy holiday. I did with MJ. Um, before I get into that, yes, new hairstyle. I'm trying something new with my natural hair. I'm giving the weaves and the wigs and the braids, like the synthetic braids, a break for a while because my hair is like, it's growing, it's long. And I want to play around with it more, especially because it's the winter time and I could deal with it better than I can in the summertime. So I'm playing around with my hair, whatever. I twisted it and it untwisted it and it came out like a big old fro. But I kind of like it. It looks funky on me, so I like it. I'm going to try different styles um, as I go on. And who knows, I'll probably turn those into vlogs too. I don't know yet, but we'll see. But back to... Um, MJ's first Thanksgiving was a ball. He had so much fun with his aunts and his uncle. Um, the first night we went to my aunt's house. Both my aunts cooked, but my other aunt cooked on Friday. So I went to my aunt's, my other aunt's house on Thursday and we ate lovely. As always, you know, she can burn in the kitchen. All my aunts can burn in the kitchen, so that's not even a problem, but... <laughs> You know, we went there, we had so much fun. Um, MJ enjoyed, you know, their company. He was smiling and, you know, making us laugh. <laughs> it was too cute. So, um, Friday, which was yesterday, we went to my other aunt's house. And again, he was with her just laughing and smiling. And everybody's like, oh, he's so cute. Bless him, congratulations. So... Soon in the next vlog, because I'm pretty sure you guys are waiting, I'll do something where MJ will be in the vlog. He's not here right now. He's with his grandparents. So, um, soon I'll do a vlog where you guys will see MJ and, um, you'll see him laughing, smiling, cooing, whatever. But I'll make sure I put him in the vlog, because I know it's like a lot of these vlogs I've done, you guys have only seen him in one, and he was asleep. <laughs> So I'll try and do one where he's awake and alert and happy and, you know. Next thing I wanted to talk about was, um, like, aside from the um, Thanksgiving, my weekends without him. I mean, I know as mothers you get so, like, consumed with taking care of your child. You don't know how to be without them. So when they do go away for weekends or you know if they get older for camp or all of that for the first time you feel like wow what the heck do I do with myself now and that's how I feel because you know I mean he this isn't the first weekend he's been away but it's like I'm still not used to it and then it's like all I want to do is sleep but I'm like I need to you know reclaim my social life like I need to Call up some friends and go out, but financially that's a problem, but it is what it is. But I I, I, I kind of, you know, figure for a fact that most mothers feel this way with their kids. Like, regardless if it's your first child, second child, third child, whatever. I'm pretty sure a lot of mothers feel this way. Like, you, you get a break, but they're constantly on your mind. And that's how I feel. I get it now. You know, now that I'm a mom, I get it. I didn't understand it before, but I get it now. So, but I mean, at the same token, I don't take that as, you know, I I try to, like, have, like, let everybody have their time with MJ because I want him to be a social child. Like, I don't want him to be sheltered. I don't want him to feel like he has to be afraid to, you know, interact with people. I don't want him to be super duper shy I want him to be social so I, if anybody you know like decides oh you know I want to take MJ here I want to take him for a weekend by all means I'll pack your bag <laughs> and I'll bring him to you so you know that's how I am I, I want him to be social I want him to know that he's loved by everybody so him being away on the weekends I get a break but I do miss him so much I'll be I miss him like crazy <laughs> but moving on Add a little bit more of breastfeeding advice, just a quick, you know, 
note or whatever. Um, usually with new moms, I mean, I know with me, when I first was able to breastfeed, because after I gave birth, I had to wait two days to breastfeed because my milk wasn't producing. And when it finally did, I breastfed. But when you first breastfeed, it's going to be painful. It really is. Like, the first couple of weeks is going to be painful. And even to the point, like, with me, when I was breastfeeding MJ, my nipples became raw. Like, they were, like, it looked like cuts and all of that. It was bruises. It was terrible. So, my aunt, along with the breast pump that she bought me, she also got me this cream. It's called Lancino Cream, and it's really good because, you know, when babies, when you're nursing babies, they um take away, you know, like your skin gets dry, it gets rough or whatever. So this restores it if you use it, you see, if you can see it, um, it restores like, you know, the, it helps you, you know, get your, the skin on your nipples, like your areolas and everything. It'll, you know, get it back to its normal state. You just take, a, um, like a little pea-sized bit, like just as much, you can see it. That much you put on your, um, nipple and your areola and it'll go right back to normal, you know. And you do it every feeding. Every feeding you do it so that, you know, you get the... Nutri not the nutrients, but you know, your skin will be smooth, it won't be rough, and it won't, you know, it won't be raw. So, highly recommend it. One more time, Lancino. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's how I pronounce it. <laughs> Lancino cream. Just, I highly recommend this. If you're a new mom and it's happening to you, because it's happened to me with breastfeeding, this is the ointment to get. So, another thing I wanted to talk about was, um co-sleeping with your newborn i wasn't doing that at first because some people told me that it wasn't a good idea to put mj in the bed with me others were like you know it's not a problem so for the first like month i had him in his bassinet until my boyfriend's parents were saying that he doesn't like the bassinet he likes to be in the bed with you so I tried that out and I, you know, it proved to be true, but I was like, okay, when my boyfriend would come over on the weekends, cause he works during the week, so he can't really stay the night with us during the week. So when he comes over on the weekends and he stays the night, it's me, him and MJ in the bed and MJ's in between us. So that makes me nervous because, you know, I don't want us to un like, you know, unconsciously like hit him or anything while we're asleep. So... What I do is during the week when it's just me and MJ, I put him in the bed with me. I sleep on one side. He sleeps on the side, the side that his father usually sleeps on. And I put um, a pillow horizontally and a pillow vertically so he doesn't, you know, fall off or anything. And I lay him next to me like that and he sleeps fine. But I've also, I said, let me try this weekend, I'm, you know, try the bassinet. And I've been trying to best in it. He's been sleeping fine in it. I guess when he was first born, he wasn't used to it. But it's like now that he's getting a little bit older, you know, he's okay with the bassinet. He's been sleeping okay with the bassinet. So I figured co-sleeping and putting him in the bassinet will work. So I think I'm going to just do both. You know, I don't see a problem with your child sleeping in the bed with you. I mean, at some point you have to break them out of that because then they're going to think that they can always sleep in the bed with you. But I think right now that he's young or whatever, it's not a problem. When he gets older, he'll, you know, I'll continue to have him in the bassinet. When he gets old enough to be in the crib, then I'll put him in the crib. I am super duper scared of SIDS, so that's why I won't put him in the crib right now. So I'll put him in the bassinet, and I usually lay him on his side or on his back. Not really too fond of the stomach because you got to always be watching him when it comes to that, but... That's just my opinion. Any other opinions, I greatly appreciate. I would love to hear your stories. Uh, taking a little... I'm going to take a detour off of, you know, MJ. And just, you know, lastly talk about your relationship and your personality changing after you give birth. I know for a fact during my pregnancy, we were excited. We were happy. But it's like after I gave birth, complete 180. 
I was, you know, I mean, as a mom, you're going to feel, you know, overwhelmed. You're going to be tired. Your body is going to be going through changes that you're not used to. So all of that together is like a recipe for disaster. So the best thing you can do is try and deal with it the best way you can. One, two, make sure you have a really good support system and people there to help you. Because that's going to matter in the end. It really is. Like I said before, I'm not going to lie. I'm going through postpartum depression. Not a lot. Because I know the highest level of postpartum depression is when women, you know, kill their kids. That's not me. That's a cowardly way out. Because, you know, you shouldn't let it get you that depressed that you want to kill your kid. But, I mean, with some women, it just happens. I refuse to let that be me. I love my son. Wouldn't trade him for anything in the world. And I'm, you know, I'm not going to let it get to that level. So, what I do is every week I go to a therapist, which is, I've been going to this person since I've been pregnant. And I speak to them every week. They help calm me down. My mom and my sister are a very big help when it comes to um, taking care of MJ. Like, they'll take him from me for like a couple of hours or so, so I can go make his bottles, I can relax a bit, I can go take a shower, anything that I need to do, run errands, you know, that's what they do. Um, another thing to do is just, you know, on the weekends, let them stay the night with, you know, other grandparents, family members or whatever, anybody that you feel you can trust, let them stay the night with, because it matters in the end. You get so consumed with being a mom, you forget that you have a life to live too. So I would highly recommend, you know, therapy support system and letting somebody take them for the weekend or for a couple of hours, whatever. It's not going to hurt. You're going to miss your child, but mama needs a break. <laughs> so uh, that's all the advice I have for this vlog. Uh, as always, questions, comments, concerns, leave it in the box below. I would love to hear you guys' opinion. I stress that every vlog. I can't stress it enough. So, um, just let me know. I love, you know, hearing you, you, what you guys have to say. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next vlog. Uh, I don't know which vlog it'll be. Probably, I try to do the mommy hoods weekly, and if I can't, bi-weekly. But I usually do them when I have ideas that pop into my head. You know, stuff that I'm learning with MJ. So, I'll see you guys ASAP. Next week, probably. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. Appreciate your family. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, happy holidays to you anyway. Uh, yeah, so, see you guys next time.